And here we have our final website design. I think it looks really, really nice. It's gonna help you as a graphic designer to stand out. Hey, hello guys. Today we're gonna build a website portfolio. And the best part is that you don't have to use any code, but stay till the end of the video because I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks that are gonna help you stand out. So without any more delay, let's just start designing. The first thing you have to do is to go to the website portfolio.adobe.com slash start. And here we're gonna select the theme name Sawdust. I think this theme looks really, really good. We're gonna use this theme. As you can see guys, the theme doesn't look anything like the one that we saw in the template, but here I am to help you stand out and help you make it awesome. So for starters, we're gonna replace this logo with an image. I'm gonna upload an image right here. And I have a file that I'm gonna share with you in the description of this video so you can follow along. Right now, if you want to, you can stop the video, download the folder and start doing it as I'm doing. So we can just be great designers together. Um, let's just click the logo PNG we're gonna click open we're gonna change the max width to 55 just to make it a little bit smaller and we're gonna align the logo to the left one thing that I noticed is that I don't like that the logo is so bright with the background so let's just fix that right now we're gonna go back and we're gonna select here in this part where it says background colors and font we're gonna select the dark mode we're gonna select the font we're gonna add a new font we're gonna select Elsa I'm gonna search for it we're gonna click it and we're gonna add the font I'm gonna click done we're gonna go back to the font and we're gonna select the font Elsa. As you can see, it changed a little bit the design. The next thing that I would like to do is to fix the navigation. I'm gonna add more pages. I'm gonna put the contact page at the top. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this contact page and rename it about. Press enter, it cha the changes were saved. So one thing that I would like to also do is to work a little bit with the navigation. We're gonna select the page navigation and we're gonna do a couple changes. We're gonna select the page titles we're gonna go to the margins and we're gonna reduce these margins okay to something like 14 will be fine we're gonna select the collection groups and we're gonna change the margin the top margin to at least 20 and press ok and the next step will be to fix these pages that we have right here i'm gonna click the about page and i'm gonna remove this contact form that i have from the duplicate of the page and we're gonna go to the document that i have right here i'm gonna double click the portfolio sample i'm gonna copy this information that I have right here in the about section. I'm gonna press command Z, press the text. I'm gonna press command V, select everything, change it to 24. I change the, the line height to at least 28 or maybe 30, let's do 32, okay. And we have to change the color of the text as well. Let's just make it here white. That'll work perfect. We don't, I cannot choose this. Okay, I'm gonna press, press done. We have our white text right here. We're right, gonna go to select the navigation. I'm gonna customize this. And I think the way that we have it right here, it's fine, but I think I wanna change the page titles. Yeah, the color is not white. Let's just change that a little bit to make it a little lighter. Let's just make it white at this point. I'm just gonna press F, 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 F. Press OK. And we have the side done, the up, and we have the about section done, and we fix a little bit of the menu right here. We're gonna press the contact form right now, and we're gonna fix this contact form real quickly. So for that, I'm gonna add a little bit of text as well, just with some address information that we can use. Uh, I'm gonna click right here. I'm gonna select the address that I have right here. I'm gonna add text, press Command V. We're gonna select everything. We're gonna make it white, I'm gonna press done, and we're gonna make here 24, really big. I think the spacing is fine, everything looks good. I wish I could get rid of this. Uh, there we go at the top and I think uh, that is good. I'm gonna select this contact form and we're gonna customize it a little bit as well. I'm gonna go to the form fields. We're gonna add fonts to them. Elsa, I'm gonna change it to a regular and I'm gonna go to press uh, the submit button. I'm gonna go to the form label, sorry. We're gonna select the font as well here, Elsa. I'm just gonna move this right here so you can guys see what I'm changing right now. And the, for, for the labels, I'm gonna do them white as well. I'm gonna press done. I'm gonna change from thin oblique. We're gonna change that to medium or maybe let's just keep it regular i think it looks good like that and we're gonna edit the button right now this is gonna be a little bit tricky but just let's start we're gonna click the elsa font right here when we click the submit button and we're gonna go to the normal state we're gonna change it to regular we're gonna change the back the text color to black and the text and the background of the button we're gonna go back and you can select this color that i have right here c7 ff 0 which is the same color of the logo. Just gonna paste right here. I'm gonna press done. This is really important. If you don't press done, you're gonna feel lost because it's not gonna work. I'm gonna click the text right here. I'm gonna select it in black. And I think 
press in black, I'm gonna press done, and I'm gonna go to the hover option, okay? And here we're gonna do it in bold. We're gonna change the text to bold, and it's gonna be backwards. It's gonna be the text is gonna be black, we're gonna press done. The button's gonna be white, we're gonna press done. So it's gonna go from normal to hover. It's gonna go like this, there you go. Those are the changes that we're gonna have with that button right there, and we're gonna press done. Here we have our contact form and our about page. The last step will be the main page. Okay, so we're gonna click the logo again. And one thing I noticed right here that I would like to fix a little bit is the space on top of the page. I'm gonna click right here, customize page covers. And I'm gonna change the top margin from 40 to at least 70. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the logo. You're gonna uh, go to the margins. I'm gonna change the top margin to try to make it match with whatever we have right here, at least 40 just to give it a little bit of space at the top, you know. The next step after doing this will be that we go to the integrations and we're gonna turn off this Behance so I can teach you guys how to create your own pages without having to use Behance. Let's just disable the Behance integration. And I just wanna take a few seconds to tell you guys that if you like this type of content, please subscribe, that'll help me a lot. And if you feel like making this type of portfolio videos help you get better jobs or better clients, just let me know in the comments below. That'll help me a lot and it'll make me happy. The point of this channel is to help you become a great graphic designer without having to go to college or pay any expensive programs. It's gonna be completely for free. So let's go back to the video. We're gonna add a page right here. This is gonna be a repetitive process. I'm gonna create the page. I'm gonna create for this one green bean. Let me put the G, capital G, create the page. After that, I'm gonna make a separate video teaching you how to make your own projects for your portfolio. And it's gonna be a series of videos. So you're gonna have a robust portfolio that you can show in your job interviews. And I'm gonna teach you how to tackle those interviews as well. So let's go back to the video. Okay, here guys, you're gonna click the logo again and we're gonna upload the cover. You click upload cover. I'm gonna look for the cover right here. Green bean, open. Here we have the green bean one. Add a new page, page, and then we click. Let me see what else I have right here. I have one called Urban Creative. Urban uh, Creative. Yeah, for create page, Urban Creative. We click the logo again, upload a cover. Upload an image, select Urban Creative, press open. We're gonna add another page. We're gonna click the page. We're gonna select prop, select create page. We click the logo again. We upload the cover, upload the image, and then we select the crop international logo right there. We're gonna add a new page, select page. And we're gonna do now Crufidly, uh, click create page. I'm gonna go back with the logo and we're gonna upload a cover, upload the image. And here we select the Crufidly cover that I have right here. We're gonna also add a new page again, click page. And then let me see what I'm missing right now. I'm gonna see seed brand right now. Seed, I'm gonna create the page. I'm gonna go back, click in the logo and I'm gonna upload a cover, upload an image and we're gonna select the seed brand cover. And for our last cover, if I'm not mistaken, it's gonna be the gutsy one. So we're gonna create a new page, click page, gutsy, athletic, I'm gonna create a page and here in this page we're gonna click the logo we're gonna upload a cover we're gonna upload an image and we're gonna select the gutsy cover one thing i would like to change to make this look a little bit better would be to change a little bit how the cover uh, logos look like and everything let's just fix that right now we're gonna click page customize page covers and we're gonna select here the text container. We're gonna change the, a little bit of the information here about the text container right here. We're gonna select the page titles and we're gonna turn off the page dates for sure. We're gonna select the page titles and then here we're gonna make the text big like 24 and we're gonna align it to the center. We're gonna change this to like 20, 25, also 28. Okay, let me change the font from regular to a little me medium or semi bold. I think medium looks better. And let's change it from 24 to a little bit bigger, like 26. And I think that will look really, really nice. And the next step will be to publish the site. After you publish your site, you can view your site. I'm gonna click it right now. And here we have our awesome portfolio design. I think it's gonna help you as a designer to stand out. If you feel like you learned something new, just give it a like. That'll help me a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.